Hello, everybody, and welcome to Yale Alumni Academy's How to Get Started on Coursera training video. Today, we will walk you through the basics of Coursera so that at the end of this video, you'll have a general understanding of how the Coursera platform works. First, we'll go over signing up for a Coursera account and completing your profile. If you already have a Coursera account and have completed your profile, please feel free to skip this section of the video. Second, we'll show you how to navigate the Coursera offerings, then we'll show you how to navigate a course in Coursera, and finally, we'll leave you with some additional items to further your understanding of the Coursera platform. All right, let's get started. To get to Coursera, you can type Coursera.org into any of the five supported browsers, which are Google Chrome, which is the most recommended browser by Coursera, Firefox, Safari, Internet Explorer 11, and Microsoft Edge. The technical requirements for using Coursera on a computer is reliable internet connection and at least one gig of memory. Now, you can also use Coursera on your iPhone, iPad, and Android device. To download the Coursera app on your smartphone or tablet, visit the App Store and search Coursera. I'll put the links for the app downloads in the description below this video. Now, if you do not have a Coursera account, let's navigate to Coursera.org in the browser. We'll then click on Join for Free button in the upper right-hand corner of the page. Enter your full name, email, and create a password that is between 8 and 72 characters. Then click Join for Free. You'll then have to visit your email inbox to activate your account. Once you find the email from Coursera, follow the prompts to completing your account. Once you have an account and are logged into Coursera, you can enhance your profile by clicking on your name or account in the upper right hand corner and selecting profile from the drop down list. Once here, you can add a profile picture, an about me, your work experience and education, and your career goals. Here is just a quick preview of what it looks like when you click on Edit My Profile. Now remember, once you are done editing your profile, make sure you save your changes, located at the bottom of this page. The next important item for your profile is in the Settings options, located in the drop-down under your account or name. Here, you'll have the ability to change your password, email, or name. You'll also have the ability to verify your name for course certificates and link your social accounts. On the left hand side, you'll notice a navigation menu with account, payment, communication preferences, notes and highlights, and calendar sync. In the payment item, you can add a credit card for quick purchases on the Coursera platform. In communication preferences, you can control how many emails you receive from Coursera. The Notes and Highlights item offers you the ability to turn on or off the tracking of your note-taking or highlighting activity when in a course. And lastly, the Calendar Sync item allows you to automatically sync deadlines and course-related dates to your Google, Apple, or other calendar. Now that your profile is complete, let's take a look at how to navigate the Coursera platform. So to return to the home page, you can click on the Coursera logo in the upper left-hand corner of the screen. Now once there, you'll see some recommendations for free courses, the ability to explore Coursera by topic, and further educational opportunities. You can also use the Explore drop-down menu in the upper left-hand corner to explore all of Coursera's offerings. So let's quickly look at a course enrollment page. For this, we'll view Lori Santos, The Science of Well-Being. Now, you'll notice that you have a description of the course, the skills you'll gain, the instructor, who is offering the course, testimonials, related courses, and the syllabus. If we go back to the top of this page and click on Enroll, you'll see you have the option to enroll for free, without a certificate, or you can pay $49 and receive a certificate upon completion. I'll let you explore the offerings on your own, so now let's take a look at how to see courses you are enrolled in. On the homepage, you can click on the In Progress item under Welcome Back. 
Here, you will see all of the courses that you are currently participating in. Lastly, the completed menu item will show you all of the courses that you have completed on the Coursera platform. Now that you have a general understanding of navigating the Coursera platform, let's take a look at navigating a course in Coursera. So once in the selected course, you'll see an overview page. This page shows all of the modules and assignments for the duration of the course. If we look at week one, we'll see that we have four, a 14 minute video, four hours and two minutes of reading, and 10 minutes of miscellaneous tasks. To begin tackling these tasks, all you have to do is click on the task you'd like to begin working on. Once you click on this task, it will bring you to the video, reading, or other miscellaneous task. Once you have selected the start of one task, you'll be brought to this page, which has all of the tasks on the left-hand navigation menu. Here, you can complete all of the tasks for the week at ease by toggling between all of the assignments. Once you have completed the tasks for the week, you can click on the course title in the upper left-hand side to navigate back to the overview page. Now on the overview page, on the left-hand side, you will notice the navigation menu with all of these different items. We'll work our way down and start with notes. Here, you'll be able to store all of the notes from every week and read back to previous weeks if needed. Now let's take a look at discussion forums is where you can read your posts, your classmates' posts, and continue to reply and engage with the class. If we click on week one, we see that there are two threads, one for introductions and the other for Coursera and Zoom questions. If we select a thread, this is where you'll be able to read the posts and reply or like other posts. This is a great way to stay engaged with the course and your classmates on days when there are not live classes. Now, let's take a look at the Live Events option. The Live Events page is where you'll find the date and time of the next live lecture. You can join the live lecture by clicking on the Join Event button. If you haven't already, please watch our Getting Started on Zoom training video for more information on this feature. Now, let's take a look at Messages. This is where you'll find messages from classmates and professors. These are private messages and operate similar to your email. And lastly, let's take a look at the classmates option. On this page, you'll be able to view all of your classmates, see their like and comment history, and you can email individual classmates privately or you can message the entire class. This is a great tool to get to know your classmates and stay engaged with them during and after the course. All right, we have covered quite a bit in this video, and we hope that you have a better understanding of Coursera and how it works. If you need additional support, you can visit learner.coursera.help. Again, that is learner.coursera.help. There you will find frequently asked questions, support guides, and more. If you need direct support from the Yale Alumni Academy team, please feel free to reach out to us. As mentioned in the video, we do have another training video on the Zoom platform that you can find on our YouTube channel or in the training module on Coursera. If you look in the description of the video, you'll also find links to additional trainings and resources that can further help you understand the Coursera platform. Well, that is it for this training. I hope it was helpful. Please feel free to subscribe to our YouTube channel for free educational content and check us out at alumnitravel.yale.edu for the opportunity to embark on educational journeys online, on campus, and abroad. Thank you.